Hail and well met. It's me, your friendly neighborhood Christopher. Today we're going to take a look at three different Walmart mystery comic packs. We've got two DC and one Marvel. So let's see what we've got. I have cut the plastic in the back to speed things up. So first we're going to start with this DC pack that has four comics and these all cost about nine dollars each. So let's see what our first pack contains. So as you saw from the start, this is the Batman The Long Halloween number one special edition by Loeb and Sale. I think this was a promotional comic that was given out at the new uh, The Batman movie. At least that's what I've heard. Excited to get that one. Really like the original Long Halloween. So I'm curious to see what that's all about. Coming up next with kind of a 3D look uh, to the cover. Um, is Nightwing number 80 by Taylor Redding, or I'm not sure how to say his name, and Lucas. This introduces uh, Heartless, so that's pretty exciting. Um, it has that uh, double colored lines that you usually see in old 3D, so it's a 3D glasses, so. I don't really know what that's about, but that looks great. Really excited to read that one. Oh, and another Batman comic. This is Batman the Detective, number one of six. That's a terrific uh, cover there. I love that Batman uh, suit. So Taylor, Kubert, and Anderson. Forgive me for mispronouncing names. I'm coming at this just like you first. And that one looks great also. A pretty good pack so far. And then, all right, another Batman coming up with the final uh, comic in this first pack. We've got Batman number 104. And um, it has Harley and Batman on the cover. Batman's distracted, looking at something. Clues, perhaps. And there are some villains behind him. So that's terrific. I really like that pack. Uh, looks like they were all... Uh, let me double check the $3.99 just standard cover price comics. Um, and then, of course, that promo comic of the Batman. Long Halloween. So, that was a great start. So, we'll go ahead and jump to the next detective pack and see what we've got. Again, I already cut the plastic in the back. To, theoretically anyway speed things up as I'm opening this you can see our Marvel pack down there okay so here is our first comic it's Catwoman Fear State number one 399 cover price it's a fantastic cover really exciting artwork on the inside a nice ad there on the back. So, definitely excited about this one. And finally, something other than Batman. We're jumping into Lois Lane, number 10, in a 12-issue series. Uh, oh, Rucka is the author on that one, so this ought to be exceptionally good. Um, Nobody Escapes the Kiss of Death, Lois Lane. 
So that's a awesome, gruesome cover there. And there's a skull with some targets on the eyes and a uh, lipstick uh, kiss on the forehead. That's really neat. I haven't read this or seen this before. Oh, it's a neat on the back there. Ah, Kubert School of Art. And we'll just take a quick peek at some of the interior art. Looks very good. All right, moving along in this pack. I want to, I neglected to mention the first pack, the condition of the comics are really good. Um, it looks like the second one, they're pretty good. Sometimes you get those uh, bends in the spine uh, or spine ticks uh, in these shrink wrap packs, but that is all right. So now we've got Batman number 105. And that's kind of interesting. I got Batman 104 in that other pack. So this one is, says Gotham isn't big enough for the three of them. And I really don't know who those characters are back there. So shout out in the comments who they are. And of course, I'll be reading this uh, in the near future. So I will be in on the, uh, the story as well. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Joker there with Harley. That is just some beautiful artwork. Can't wait to read that story. Jumping in at the next comic in this pack is Justice League Odyssey number 20. Um, Azrael Avenging Angel of Acropolis. Acropolis. Very sharp. It's pretty neat. All that good. I like that artwork in that ad. And then a quick sampling of some of the art in this one. Excellent. And then this is that backer board from the, uh, I don't know why it was cut. But anyway. And finally, let's jump over to the House of Ideas Marvel. And these are the same price. They're just, uh, you just get three comics in them. So it looks like all the comics I got were the standard, th oops, three ninety nine dollars uh, cover price. Uh, sometimes in these packs you'll get uh, prestige formats, um, comics that are more expensive. Um, you know, $9.99, $6.99, that sort of thing. But I'm really happy with the, uh, the DC ones that I got. So we're coming along with Wolverine patch number one. Now this is a variant edition. Uh, with these Walmart packs, a lot of times you'll get uh, second prints or uh, B covers, uh, Walmart exclusive variants. Um, and so I've heard, though I haven't gotten, uh, sometimes you'll get really uh, rare incentives, uh, you know, one in 10, one in 25, uh, one in a hundred or, or more, uh, in these, or at least you used to, I don't know if you still do. Uh, but anyway, this is, I believe a Walmart exclusive, um, yeah, Walmart exclusive variant cover of patch. Wolverine is patch. So that'll be pretty cool. Looking forward to that. All right. So we're wrapping it up with the comic packs. We've got Two more issues. These are Marvel. So we've got Sword number 10. Um, I don't know anything about this. So it's like it's a X-Men related book, of course. Pretty cool. It's a Iron Man watch ad on the back. All right, and Spider-Woman, Devil's Reign, number 18. We've got uh, Kingpin, I believe, standing behind that amazing artwork there of Spider-Woman. Look at that. Oh, that's a really good cover. 
Let's see, oh, got a really neat, I like these um, Lego ads they've been putting on the back of comics lately. They look really neat. And here's just some interior art. Quick look. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so thank you for joining me on this Mystery Walmart Pack video. Let me know, what is the best issue that I got? Do you think the Walmart uh, packs are worth your time? I think they are. And what do you think about the 2DC packs versus the Marvel pack that I got? See you in the comments, and until next time, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Christopher.